In eukaryotes, the coding regions of the DNA, exons, are interrupted by non-coding regions, introns. During transcription, the entire gene is copied into precursor mRNA, pre-mRNA, which includes exons and introns. A process called RNA splicing then removes the introns, joining the exons into a contiguous sequence. This mature mRNA is ready to be translated into protein. It is carried out by the large molecular machine called spliceosome, which is made up of five small nuclear ribonucleoproteins, SNRNPs, U1, U2, U4, U5, and U6. The recognition of intron boundaries at three prime splice site is heavily dependent on the non SNRNP proteins, called branch point binding protein, BBP, and U2 auxiliary factor, U2AF. RNA splicing begins with assembly of helper proteins at the intron, exon borders, defining the section of DNA to be cut out. Once the spliceosomes are assembled, it brings the exons on either side of the intron very close together, ready to be cut. The spliceosome first cuts the 5' prime end of the intron and loops it back on itself to join at a sequence of mRNA called the branch site. This forms the lariat loop. Next, the spliceosome cuts the 3' prime end of the intron, releasing the lariat loop and joining the two axons together. After splicing is complete, the edited mRNA and intron are released and the spliceosome disassembles. The lariat loop is also broken down. The edited mRNA only contains the exons, which are the complete instructions for proteins.